Okay. Gotta find some clues, man. Gotta find some clues. Oh. My partner oh, will explain everything when he gets back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Supposed to be her parents' bedroom. Work boots. Size eight. Tiny little eight feet. You know what they say about a man with tiny feet. He Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. Show enough. What about this? No sign of a wedding ring. <laughs> Time to talk to that wee little one. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Damn, dude. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. That's it? That's the end of your crying fit? Like, Jesus, dude just walks up in here, tells you your mom's dead, and you're like, okay, what do you need to know? Man, little lady. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Um. I know it's painful, Michelle, but this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. They had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. Man, how do you just remember all this crap about your mother's personal possessions? I don't remember crap about my mom's shit. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. <laughs> so you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. How about your parents? Your mother? mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Don't act like you don't know. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? What the, but, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. A beer.
Why are you lying to me, Mr. Mueller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Listen, it's okay if you have a tiny penis. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> He's such an asshole. It's okay, everyone knows three inches is average size. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. What about all the other times where she called? Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Yeah. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, but your daughter said that you were out. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not that's not true. God damn it! What about the butterfly? It is true, Hugo. Breach. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on it. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. Oh. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Ah! I was just literally about to say, please don't run me over. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. Doesn't look good, Hugo. I, I can explain the blood. If 
you can explain it, why are you saying Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... want a moment. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncle? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Akersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. That's rough. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. What the heck? It's like super rough. Your mommy dies and then your dad gets arrested. Like, fuck. Galloway, homicide division, badge number Phelps five, badge six, 1247. Go ahead, detective unit. How can I help, detective? Technical services team. I need an address on a Belmont High School. Bonnie Bray Street. Checking for you, detective. Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Belmont High, Roger, 1175 West 2nd Street. Thanks, ma'am. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. At the police board downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, Phelps. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some large amount. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. And try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Any central unit of possible 288 at Belmont High School, 1575 West 2nd Street. Stand by for further unit to handle identify code 2. 11K to KGPL. We'll take the 288. Go ahead with the further. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to this next time, because interesting crap's about to go down. I don't like this case. I'll explain 